Hey there, and welcome back to Utility Sports. Uh, I'm your host, Sheldon Woolman, and today we'll be covering uh, some possible cities that the NBA should consider looking to expand to as we move forward here. Obviously, right now at this point, there's not really a lot of rumors about this, but here at Utility Sports, we just were talking about it and thought it would be something fun to present. Uh, and at this point, before we jump into it, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we've been posting a lot of content, uh, at least one video every single day here. Uh, and we're really trying to grow the channel uh, and make some improvements to our content. So every uh, little bit helps uh, as we continue to grow. Great, jumping into it here now. The first city we have out of the three is Chicago. Obviously, uh, the Chicago Bulls already exist. We, we know that. Uh, and an important part of this is the polarization of Chicago sports. Uh, kind of like how the White Sox and Cubs, there's that little fun rivalry there in Chicago. Uh, we could see uh, the new team kind of be like that for the Chicago Bulls, a team that hasn't really had a lot of success lately anyway. Uh, and that little bit of competitiveness inside the city would be uh, good. Obviously, you can have south side, north side rivalry like we've seen with the White Sox and Cubs. Uh, and this little brother to the Bulls uh, could be possibly the Chicago Fire. Obviously, uh, there was the great Chicago Fire of 1871, uh, something that uh, definitely shaped the city's history. You can't go to Chicago and do any uh, thing without really hearing about it. Uh, you know, if you're a tourist there, you'll definitely hear about it. Uh, something that was really important to the city historically, caused over $200 million of damages to the city. Uh, and I think that'd be kind of a, a little fun way to pay homage to their history uh, by adopting a team called the Chicago Fire. Uh, and this would be an Eastern Conference team as well, just like the Chicago Bulls are. Uh, the next two teams that we do have, uh, next two cities are located further west, so they would be Western Conference teams. So this could be a counterbalance team to one of those uh, in a two-team expansion uh, for the NBA. Jumping into Team 2 here, uh, in City 2 we have Las Vegas. Obviously, uh, Las Vegas is a city that's taken in the Raiders from Oakland, also uh, expanded for the Las Vegas Aces a team that's found a lot of success in the WNBA at this point. Uh, and really looking at it from a business standpoint, it makes a lot of sense. You know, they're a huge entertainment industry. Uh, there's a lot of revenue potential, um, even if there's not a lot of fan bases uh, of a fan base early on, which is something that we see with some of these cities. Uh, you know, you, you're looking at a whole bunch of people that live there that if they like basketball, they're probably already a fan of a team that's close by or uh, a, a fan of a team that they, you know, grew up watching. So, uh, having a place that's going to have a lot of revenue coming in and out, even without a fan base early on, is is really important. And I think Las Vegas is a place that could really do that. And it's a diverse culture. You know, you got a lot of uh, different people there. You, you've got a higher uh, amount of Spanish speakers in Las Vegas than you do in a lot of other cities, uh, especially northern cities. Uh, obviously, Vegas being in the south uh, gives you a little bit more of that diverse culture here in the United States. I'm uh, looking at some possible team names. Uh, one that jumped up to me was the Vegas Blackjacks. Obviously, you know, you could have a pirate theme off that, something that kind of plays off what the Raiders are there. And also it's a, a very popular card game, something that you can uh, do in uh, Vegas casinos. Uh, so I think that's uh, a fun name to pay homage to. Obviously, the, the life you can live there uh, with gambling and casinos and that kind of stuff. Uh, obviously being really prevalent and also uh, kind of fits alongside that other major sports team in the Vegas Raiders and the Las Vegas Aces uh, kind of keeps that theme together uh, as Blackjacks kind of ties the Aces uh, to the Raiders in a lot of different ways. And then another team I thought of was the Las Vegas Luces. Uh, that in Spanish means lights. Uh, and the reason I think that that is possible is because of that growing Spanish population, like I talked about, uh, one of the higher in the country at over, I believe, 18, 19%. Uh, so that's something that would be really interesting, and it, and it pays homage to the strip uh, there in the city life. Obviously, you know, it's very well known for being lit up and, and a bright city. Uh, and I think Las Vegas uh, couldn't really go wrong with either of these two names. Also, let us know down in the comments below what you think good names are for some of these cities or other cities you think. We had thought about maybe Virginia Beach uh, and a few others. We thought about Vancouver, a return there, obviously based off the Toronto Raptors. Uh, success in Canada and how uh, that's been going and reintroducing a second Canadian team uh, would be interesting. Uh, but that is not actually our first city here. Our first city is Seattle. Uh, obviously, Seattle is not quite necessarily the financial uh, strong point that many seem to think it is. Uh, there's a reason that the Oklahoma City Thunder left Seattle for a small market like Oklahoma City. Seattle's not the most uh, fruitful market when it comes to money. But that fan base there loves basketball, and they deserve a basketball team. Uh, you're looking at Seattle being one of the um, strong points for creating uh, a lot of hoopers. Honestly, like people know it for that. 
And I think it's something that would be interesting for the NBA to reconsider, you know, adding another team back into Seattle. Uh, and honestly, a return of the Supersonics would likely be what it, you're looking at. The two teams, uh, the two team names are the Sonics or the Supersonics. It'd be hard to really go back to Seattle with a different name. Uh, it's hard to really come up with something better than the Supersonics with the history there. Obviously, Gary Payton and Sean Kemp. Uh, obviously Kevin Durant's rookie season you know you're looking at a lot of different fun things and I think Seattle would be really really happy to get a a team back and I think the city's ready for it Uh, so those are the three there just recap real quick we had the Chicago uh, with the Chicago Fire we had Las Vegas with either the Vegas Blackjacks or the Las Vegas Luces and also Seattle with the return of the Supersonics so I think that uh, those are the three interesting cities that uh, utility sports wanted to look at I really like all three of those options, to be completely honest. And I would love to hear down in the comments below what you think are the best options. Um, for the Chicago Fire, that actually came from uh, one of my one of the other uh, people here at Utility Sports, Austin. He, uh, big shout out to him on that name. That's an awesome name. Uh, so then, yeah, that's that's kind of what we're looking at here. Uh, and I'm really excited about these. Uh, obviously, you know, like we said, expansion is not necessarily imminent. Uh, but it could be something the league's looking at to generate a little bit more revenue, especially to make up for some of their losses here in 2020 and 2021 with COVID. So uh, definitely something to monitor. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one.